Welcome back to Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. It is the final day of summer. It's a very miserable, rainy day today as well, but that's okay. It means I don't have to water the crops or anything, right? So it's always a good thing, of course. I've actually uh, decided today, like I have been like kind of calculating how many recipes there are in this game and how many I've done and everything and I've worked out that there are 86 recipes in this game and we have done 30 of them although I'm pretty sure that our family has been eating some of the dishes I actually looked through and I couldn't see the melon pie and I'm so sure we made one of those so I'm gonna have to make one of those again and like sort out some of the recipe also my baked yam is gone as well and I swear I made some of that too so I'm pretty sure my my family has been digging into the, the like food in the fridge and stuff which is fine I'll just replace them and stuff it's just that I was kind of like unsure about which recipes they had been eating so now that I've got them all marked down it's gonna be a bit easier for me to keep track of what like dishes my family have eaten and stuff like that so I think that will be a lot better going forward so I think we'll we'll go with that all right and speaking of we actually just got a ton of melons that have just finished growing which is fantastic right because I literally I'm pretty sure my family ate all my melon pies so, so I'm gonna have to make some more of that I've got some melons here which is fantastic right so not too much to harvest today but that's okay of course we're going to be planting a lot more crops tomorrow so yeah there is that too got some things here I have no idea what this is actually what is this let's see what this is this is king okay this is one of my like third generation crops I think I actually got uh, a sholo here I thought that was another king but I guess not and we also have a weird melon what is this this is a sholo s very interesting very interesting looking crops over there so yeah I'm looking forward to planting up a ton of crops tomorrow we're also really close to getting the milk processing room as well hopefully that will come very soon it must be soon because it's been so long like it was ages ago that I that I ordered it and it's still not here here so yeah it's, it's gotta be soon it's gotta be so I'm looking forward to that arriving I think that'll be really cool once we get that all right that's a melon and we'll wilt as well let's get rid of that we also have lots of our third generation crops all growing over here they still haven't grown just yet so we just gotta keep waiting for those although they'll probably go back into the seed maker even when they do finish growing sadly oh that was a melon as well get rid of that one too there we go is there anything else I got a Yamato growing here all right we're just about to go into the fall season so I'm excited to grow some fall crops like sweet potatoes are just like a thing that I've run out of so much fall crops are just like really sought after like they just I don't know they just get used so so quickly it seems and I always seem to run out of them so I'm very much looking forward to getting some fall crops that'll be great just going to go and I actually left my animals out like this whole time it was raining oops <laughs> I'm sure that'll be fine I'm sure it'll be all good <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine little guys all right there you go got some of that very nice it looks like my sheep is ready to to be sheared as well which is great not that we actually like need the money or anything but that's okay maybe I'll give some to my son or something like I've kind of not been doing that because I kind of like wanted the money from the wall before but now it's not really a big deal and I'm pretty sure that your son actually like sort of like asks for the the golden wall as well so maybe I'll actually give it to him that would be an interesting thing to to try all right nice and healthy that's great let's check the health of our cows I think they're okay but I did leave them out in the rain so I just want to like double check to make sure they're okay okay mother cow is doing well that's great 
great. That's great to hear. It's always the goat that's like sick in this game. He's doing okay. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, it's always my goat that gets like really sick really quickly in this game. So it's kind of annoying when that happened. Very healthy. Okay, that's great. I can't milk you, can I? No, I don't think I've got too much milk happening right now. They always like like don't really produce much during the summertime anyway so yeah it's a little bit a little bit lackluster right now oops I need to give these guys some some food I don't know if I have any I hope that I that I have I have no idea we'll have to see if not I just have to order some or something so we'll, we'll have to see okay I got 12 that's okay more than enough to fulfill my chickens purposes so that's good I actually don't have any more eggs left in my fridge so it might be a good idea to restock that because it's always handy to have I've actually relied on the eggs in the fridge a few times now so it's definitely definitely handy to just like make sure that we got something in the fridge actually that be a fantastic all right there we go I got some lovely eggs which is very nice I'm gonna go make sure that we put some of those away that would be fantastic I think we have some golden eggs in the fridge I'm not really sure if like you really need golden eggs for recipes I don't think you do but I have some in there anyway like just in case I guess I could use them as a substitute for normal eggs if I really wanted to but I just think it would be a good idea to put some actual normal ones in here and um that was a good like uh swap with the ruby spice and the eggs actually i'm quite quite happy with that so that's great that's very good we've got some nice nice crops here too which I'm very happy about. I wonder if we can make some new recipes. So I think the the actual like uh, category that we have completed the most with has to be the soup and stews. We've actually got six out of ten for those. The rest we've kind of got a long way to go. So <laughs> it would take a little while before we manage to do those. You know, we don't actually have any marinade. I'm wondering if we could do that. I'm pretty sure I've made marinade before, but we do not seem to have any in the fridge for whatever reason but you need mugworts for it we do have mugworts actually I think we should be able to do this yeah we should be able to do this let's create this and we'll make some room in it in the fridge and I'll also mark it down on my list so I know it's one that we have officially like you know uh created so we'll have to make sure to do that so to make a marinade you need a tomato or turnip and we're going to use tomato this time a mugwort and any fish I'm pretty sure we have made this before but it was probably a long time ago so yeah it's fine it's fine here we go let's make a nice marinade and I'll mark that one down on my list in a second as well but this one is considered a salad so we will be putting it up here with the other salad salads as well and uh, we'll have to just like move the soups around a little bit I think but that will be okay I'm pretty sure so yeah intriguing intriguing stuff from what I can see here we should be able to make this very special dish so I'm gonna try it what it requires is let's see um this is a horse d'avoir we need a tomato we need a we need hybrid number three which would be the life crop i believe i think it's this one we're gonna try it we're gonna try it <laughs> hopefully it works i got another one of these in the seed maker so we're fine to use this and we also need some butter i don't think it matters like what quality or what type of butter i'll have to get that out of the fridge actually i have to go get it i keep forgetting <laughs> sometimes i forget that i don't have it on me like right now it's so annoying when that happens some butter i have good butter and regular butter we'll take out the regular that will be fine i'm excited to to see what this looks like once it's done so a tomato the life plant and some butter let's hope that this works I don't know I feel a bit skeptical but hopefully it's all good all right there we go it made something so that's good fried nuts yes I was kind of expecting it to look a little different to that but okay vegetables and life with butter very very nice so we gave we gave these vegetables life with with our life plant <laughs> very nice so that's another 
another one of these recipes done that's actually quite a hard one to make because you need a very specific like hybrid crop so that one is a bit of a pain to create definitely so <laughs> I'm glad I managed to make that one now we have to sort out all my stuff here so I got um, stuff in the wrong places but that's okay I like to have everything organized that is how I roll the next one we're gonna make is I'm pretty sure we've made this one before but I think our family ended up eating it so <laughs> yeah that was pretty annoying so we're going to make a melon pie I'm pretty sure like I said we've made this before but my darn family decided to give it a little munch so yeah that was a pain in the butt we're gonna need to grab some eggs and also some butter so let me just grab those from the fridge we do indeed have them in the fridge I only need one and I only need one butter as well sort of running out of butter actually I need to go and make some more at some point but that's okay so here we go a melon and egg wherever they've gone here and also some butter there we go this should make our melon pie hopefully if I've done everything correctly but yeah we've remade this I'm pretty sure we've made this before but it's okay we now have another one so I'll keep track of this and make make sure it doesn't get eaten again maybe it's like the favorite of the family or something maybe they just like really like this dish <laughs> I have no idea but yeah pretty sure that one got eaten that one got munched on <laughs> that's okay it's all right I don't blame them I bet it was tasty you know I bet it was super delicious so it's fine it's fine I think we also lost our strawberry pie I'm pretty sure we had one of those too I think we have strawberries yes we do we should be able to make this one as well it's basically the same it's just strawberry egg and butter so I should be able to make this one as well my my family seem to like really like the pies <laughs> they always seem to eat my pies <laughs> for whatever reason I need butter and only thing I've got is goat butter I might actually have to have to make some so I'm gonna go and actually make some actually I'm just gonna take two of this milk and we'll go and do that I'm gonna need an egg as well so I take one egg out of there because I don't want to use the goat or the mum's butter because that's kind of like rare stuff I mean I don't know what I'm gonna really use it for but I would just rather just not use it and actually I feel like we haven't really used this room very often so maybe this would be a cool thing to actually do as well we want butter and not cheese so we want to go on this side I think so we're going to see if we can get some of this that would be fantastic all right where's my milk at it's just like finding stuff right I got star milk here um actually I don't want to use the star milk actually because I think there might be a recipe where I might need that so I'm just going to use the normal milk here for now so we're gonna do that so I think you need star milk for for ice cream and I'm hoping to hopefully make that today but we'll see we'll see what happens all right there we go got some nice butter there we are we're gonna make another one so that'll be great and then we're gonna make some more some more dishes it's gonna be fantastic it's gonna be awesome we still need to wait for a few more of my crops before I can really do some hybrid stuff, I think. But I like making the the dishes in this game. It is awesome. But there we go. We've got some butter. I am now ready to continue my exploits. I am ready to see if we can if we can do this. So yeah, that'd be great. Refill, restock my, my fridge because my darn family just keeps eating everything. They're eating me out of my house and my home. <laughs> what's going on here all right where's my eggs my egg is here and good butter there we go this should create the strawberry pie and I'll definitely mark this one down so that I don't forget it and we don't have to make it again <laughs> it's just I didn't realize that my family was like eating my my stuff in my fridge but they definitely are because I've got I've got things going missing so <laughs> it's the only thing that I can assume that's happening is they're just like eating all my stuff so <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a pain, but it's okay. So I don't really have anywhere else to store all the like food and stuff that I wanna I wanna do. So we're just gonna have to roll with it for now, I guess. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> we're also missing a sashimi. There was two different types of sashimi, right? I don't know which type I have. I did have two of them though. There was this sashimi, and there was another one as well. So we're gonna try and recreate the one that I don't have. So hopefully like that will that will work hopefully i'll be able to figure that one out so there's one that is just a fish and then there's one with two different fish and that's basically it so it's really really simple to create it's in this category as well same category so that's okay um don't know what one i've got and what one i don't have so i'm just gonna go and make both of them and the leftover one i might just feed to my family in the hopes that they leave my stuff alone <laughs> so that's the one i did have so the one i don't have is the one with two different fish so if we go with the colombo and the rain bob this should make the other one i don't know what happened to uh, to that to be honest but whatever because this one has a slightly different different um description so this is the one that i was missing so we'll put this here this also counts as a separate recipe as well so it's worthwhile to to do it for that reason i think so yeah that'll be great that'll be great and then we got the two different types here so that's great i'm guessing the one that we just made was the big one there's it's like a small one and a large one so we had the small and we just made the the larger one right there oh we still can't make the ice cream because we don't have brown milk don't know if i made my brown cow pregnant i did get one not that long ago it might not be it might not be like fully grown maybe that's why it could be it could be that actually so that might be it actually well i think we recreated most of the recipes that were missing so now we're on 35 recipes created out of 86 so that's not too bad i don't actually think there's too much more we can do here like right now anyway so we'll probably come back to that and I'll keep my eye on the dishes um keep my eye on like what goes missing and stuff from my family but <laughs> that's okay I've marked down everything that we've created now so I'll definitely keep my eyes peeled on everything that's going on in my fridge but we now have five pages of like recipes and dishes and stuff like that which is really really good I would say really good actually so I'm very much looking forward to seeing a full fridge full of completed dishes one day as long as I keep like topping it up with stuff you know I feel like I'm being a good husband though I'm making sure my family is well fed and they've got lots of stuff going on there so that's great I think my brown cow is this one right uh coffee I think I don't know if I just like forgot to get the produce or something but it's fine we'll get it eventually so it's all good it's all good I've done a lot of messing around today I would say <laughs> but I mean I guess that's what I do every day in this game honestly it's so easy to just mess about <laughs> it really is okay we're gonna go and get our autumn crops out because we're gonna be planting those very very soon so I'm going to definitely see what we can pick up here so let's see these are fall to spring so we'll take those we got Katie which is winter to summer I'll have to wait a bit for that that's winter that's spring to summer Rory's okay we have fall this one as well we've got some quite a lot of things here that I've actually never planted I guess I didn't have any like happy lamps or anything like that so that's probably why that's probably why I haven't done those winter that one is full as well bare toes I got a lot of those fall to spring so we'll take those too is that all wait I don't have carrots I'm gonna have to buy some carrots because I don't have any carrots I've actually completely ran out of those and that is also a full crop as far as I am aware and we need some of those we need some of those for for lots of different reasons so we're actually going to go to Vesta's farm and we're going to go buy some of those make sure we prepare for the next season and everything that would be great I um oh hold on Vesta's over here I wonder if she's not working today I don't know there's actually a ton of happy lamps down here so we should 100% collect these because of course they are super important and we always need to make sure that we have some of these on hand right so let's grab all of these up 
that would be fantastic some more down here as well give me all of those that'd be a fantastic give me all of those i know i'm gonna need them i don't really need to pick up the flowers anymore i don't think i just kind of let them just bloom now there's probably just an overabundance of flowers in forget me not valley but it's fine at least nina will be happy with all the flowers around her and stuff i like to think that she is smiling from beyond <laughs> i like to think that she's very happy with all of the, the flowers around her so here's hoping all right hello i love watching crops grow yes i would like some some carrots please i uh, already have zero thanks for that <laughs> uh, i would like 15 of them actually that seems like a good number i want to make sure i've got a decent amount of them because yeah I completely ran out so there's a lot of recipes that require carrot and every time i look i'm like oh damn it i got no i got either don't have yam or i don't have carrots it's either one of the two let's just make sure actually that we've actually got we do have sweet, sweet potatoes and we've got 14 which is a really decent amount of them so i'm probably going to be really busy kind of like um watering those definitely because we need a lot of those can i come look at your fields later how are they doing no you can't my wife would get jealous <laughs> she says no my wife says no hi we have four seasons here but it's pretty comfortable all year long it's quite hot today though it is indeed but tomorrow will be it will get nice and chilly tomorrow because we're going into the fall season right so it will be nice 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 and it's all windy over here as well <laughs> at the moment but that's okay all right i think we're done with all of that so that's fantastic i don't really know what else to do for the rest of the day actually i don't know i might go fishing i mean it's not that i need fish for for money or anything i'm just actually going to do it just so that we have a supply of fish for when we do cooking because i actually used quite a bit when i was like remaking the sashimi recipes and stuff and i'm sure that my family is gonna like nibble on some of my fish dishes again at some point so it's always just like a good idea to have some fish on me on hand just in case I need it for like recipes that kind of stuff so I'm just going to make sure that we're stocked up I don't need to do fishing too much anymore but just here and there might be an idea just to make sure we have something so that'd be great all right here we go and it's nice and relaxing too and I like to do relaxing activities in Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. Like, who doesn't? I'm actually really surprised that we haven't had the milk processing room yet. I really thought that we would have had that by now, but nope. <laughs> it seems it doesn't want to pop up for me right now. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Come on, goodies. We got a snout. I wonder if I can get a shark shark. I'll probably just do like one more fish, I think. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. I might actually wash my animals as well because I haven't done that and I think most of them are quite dirty so I might do that too <laughs> just to give them a little bit of semblance of comfort because I feel a little bit bad from ne neglecting them as I have been so I think we we may do that a big snout very nice thank you very much I will take that <laughs> awesome stuff I can't believe my family has been eating all my produce <laughs> how could they how could they we got an angry cow over there but that's okay all right all right so let's start washing all our animals hopefully they're not all like sleeping and stuff all right angry cow why are you so angry are you sleeping you're not sleeping you're fine let's give you a nice wash there you go you lovely little thing now i'll wash this cow over here too i, I don't know if it's just because like i've been neglecting my animals a little bit but what is wrong with you cow what is your problem there's grass right, right there can't you see it jeez wait where are you going i was gonna wash you wait i can still wash you okay good you're just just there just close enough it seems why is what's wrong with this cow anyway like which cow is doing what's wrong with you why are you just angry what's up <laughs> what do you want from me <laughs> now you're eating i don't know why like what are you glitched out or something like why are you just I think you're trying to eat from the pond and it's just like not working for you. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, you silly cow. The AI in this uh, game are just a bit, a bit derpy sometimes. My cow's still doing it, isn't it? It's just like 
angry over there, even though it looks like it's doing the eating animation. Um, not entirely sure what that was about, but I think I think what it was is that it was he was trying to eat, but the pond was in the way, so he couldn't eat. <laughs> Just standing there being angry, <laughs> standing there being a foul-mouthed cow. <laughs> But that's okay. Alright, there you go. I'm just gonna move you all around. It didn't really look like... Did I wash the wrong cow or something? Not really sure there, actually. I don't know. Alright, uh, you moody, moody little, little mooster. <laughs> I think this is the one that got, like, really angry. Come on, move your butt, move your booty. I gotta do you a nice, I gotta give you a nice wash. All right, here we go, nice and clean. There you are, perfect, perfect, very nice. That's what I like to see, some nice, clean bovines on my farm. <laughs> indeed, indeed. All right, I'm gonna do the horse next because I don't know if the horse needs washing or not, but we're going to check just in case. Let's give you a scrubbing. Oh no, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I might just eat the sashimi for my myself you know I was gonna give it to my family but I feel like they've been eating enough don't you think <laughs> they've been eating my, like out of my fridge and I got like nothing left in there so I feel like they've had enough somehow don't you think <laughs> so I think I'm gonna eat the sashimi for myself if I can find it this was my leftover sashimi there you go enjoy eat the plate as well the plate's good for you I'm sure of it <laughs> there you go he looked very happy so that's great uh yeah these cows also need a good scrub too so let's wash all of them whilst we're here it looks like my my wife is going to the blue bar today she she is doing her rounds by the looks of it. All right, dude, let's get you in position. And we are going to give you a nice brush. Here you go. Nice wash. There you go. Fantastic. Do you like that? Do you like it? Good. <laughs> nice and clean. Nice and clean. Awesome stuff. All right, we're going to have to move them all around again. And I think there's just like one more cow. I tried to wash this one earlier, but I don't think it worked. I'm thinking I I accidentally like clicked a different cow is it raining I just saw my my fields the the soil went dark I think it's gonna rain yeah it's raining <laughs> that's okay I'll have to put my cows back into the the actual barn I kind of left them out uh, earlier so I should probably make sure we do that oh what you went to sleep that's annoying how can you sleep during the rain it's raining oh my god I would never be able to like sleep outside during the rain with like no cover like what that's just craziness crazy stuff all right there you go you're nice and clean i think the only one i haven't done is probably the goat but the goat will have to wait because you know um it's raining i gotta get everybody inside i gotta make sure they're all nice and cozy and warm inside their their lovely nice barn so yeah, we gotta make sure they're all happy and everything. That'd be great. All right, there we go. We gotta make sure we we feed them all up. Ah, oh, my cows look so great. Now they're not like filthy and gross and stuff. I'll I'll do you another time. Go like I'll make sure you're nice and clean some other time. All right. So don't panic. You'll get your wash at some point. Just not today. Not today, my friend. All right, there we go. Everybody's nice and happy inside the barn. So that's fantastic. Fantastic. Probably about time I put my dude to bed as well because he's been very, very busy today as well. We're going to check on our chickens, make sure they're okay and everything. Do I have eggs? I'm not sure I like checked them earlier, so probably not. Now, we don't have anything right now, sadly, but that's okay. That's all good, all good. All right, I guess it's time to hit the hay, go to bed, I would say. Hopefully, my milk processing room comes tomorrow, right? I'm just like dying to get it like why is it taking so long it's taking forever it's taking so long all right let's go to bed and we're gonna go into the autumn season so a brand new season for us to to deal with so that'll be good ah here we go so it was the next day. Hey, the milking room is done. Yay, we have our final upgrade, which means we have basically gotten every single thing in the game. The only thing really left to get is um, just like crops, like 
you know, second and third generation crops really. So this is the milk processing room. Basically what this is, is you just kind of push your cows into the room and it, yeah, like automates the milking. So it does it all for you, basically. The milk comes out. All right, let's have a look. Comes out over there. It's quite a cool room right here press the a button to get the milk i see i see very nice awesome that's about it nice work don't you think indeed indeed but then you've got to kind of know which cows need milking which cows actually need it god it's still raining it looks like it, it sounds like it's hammering it down oh my good lord <laughs> all right we'll have to check out the uh, the milk processing room is it like thunderstorming oh my god it's really bad today really Really bad oh my gosh we should definitely plant all our stuff up I would say oh look these have got like flowers on them oh my god Greg flowers got like flowers on them and stuff maybe the bulb come like grows from the actual flower or something this is really hard to see with like how bad the weather is today we're definitely in full right yes we're on the first of fall so we can indeed plant up all of our full crops it's just so hard to see I can barely see what I'm doing and so yeah if you can't see don't worry neither can I <laughs> just I'm just guessing where things go at this point <laughs> I'm just hoping that it that it works it's just like the rain is so bad the visibility is very low for sure but we got to make sure we can plant these as soon as possible definitely because you know these take ages and full crops are so so important for us to to plant up all right we've got these cowberry seeds as well which are definitely full right yep they're definitely full so that's great we have these berry toe crops i'm gonna plant everything that i can whilst it's raining so i don't need to worry about it so that's great i kind of like that we don't need to worry about that stuff oh my god i think we're gonna get some new produce as well some like um hybrids like maybe tree uh, fruit produce which i am so happy about because that means it will open up some more opportunities for us with cooking which will be fantastic i've been dying to get stuff like that for a while sweet potato seeds are a must we really need these i'm completely out of sweet potatoes so yes we seriously need these really badly so let's put these down everywhere that'd be fantastic i don't know if we got like any new crops growing to like harvest or anything oh my god the weather is so bad so bad it's quite rare to actually get like thunderstorm weather in this game it's not something that's actually like popped up too often i think it's like maybe this is like the second time i've had it and we've been playing well this is our fourth year i think i think this is our fourth year i'm pretty sure it is so yeah like that's uh, quite a lot of playtime that we've like had already and only two thunderstorms that just goes to show how like rare it is to actually get this kind of weather really is rare uh we got a seed here that i need to to plant as well i'm pretty sure this is full as well yeah this is full too there's actually not as many plants as usual maybe i'll go and buy some more <laughs> just to make my life hell some full plant here to to plant i don't even have a full field which is kind of like crazy for me i usually have a full field which is kind of really really crazy i might go and buy some more like sweet potatoes and carrots honestly they are just something that i just need so badly and if anything that would be definitely the thing that i would go and get if anything all right those are growing still i actually don't think there is anything to harvest yeah everything's still everything's still growing so yeah nothing to harvest right now but what have we got growing over here because we've definitely got something like what are these red bananas oh my gosh i don't know what that is gro that's growing but i'm really really curious actually i can't wait to to see those i don't know if they're gonna fall off just yet they might not be ready i'm not too sure it might take a while for them to fall off let's have a look to see what it is this is an apage tree. Ah, so it's like an apple and a banana mixed together. That's why the red bananas. That's a really interesting. Do we have anything else growing? 
Grapes. Oh my god, yes. Finally, we're going to get some grapes. That's going to be amazing. I've wanted grapes for a little while. So we still haven't had those, so that's going to be fantastic. I think the rain might be stopping. I don't know. That was a long time that it was raining, right? A really long time. All right, I guess I could pick up some of these. I don't think I really need these, but I'll pick them up anyway, you know, just in case. I'm pretty sure the, way the rain is definitely stopping. I'm going to go pick up maybe 10 more carrots and 10 more sweet potatoes just to make sure that we have a good amount I really want to like restock our supply for the full crop so there's just something that I'm just constantly running out of and I absolutely hate it that I'm always running out of those crops so, so we're gonna make sure this season that that is no longer a problem for us so, so that's what we're definitely gonna do hello hello I would like we, are, we have the money for it as well now so it's, it's great carrot seeds yep I want 10 of those and I would like probably 10 sweet potatoes as well so that would be fantastic thank you very much adorable Celia <laughs> I, I mean I'm not flirting with you I, I already have a wife <laughs> I already have a wife don't tell her I said that <laughs> sweet potatoes all right here we go we're gonna have 10 of those as well fantastic we still have a lot of money too so that's great thank you thank you and now I can plant my life away <laughs> plant all the things plant all the things I might go to the dig site today I feel like it's been a little bit since we went to the dig site why not so let's just spend some time up there just to do something productive I guess I don't know I'm not sure what else I want to do today so I may do that I may do that that'd be cool I'm looking forward to seeing these trees grow I'm hoping that they will grow today they should grow today hello child how you doing hey dad Hey, I'll never let you have my treasure, you evil monster. <laughs> you know I have a talent for art. All right, all right, sure. If you say so, I'm sure you do. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give you this golden, this golden wool. Do you want it? What about it, Dad? Is farm work fun? Yes, it's fun. Yeah, you're right. The animals are so cute. How can it not be fun? I want to be a farmer when I grow up. Ah, do you want this or what? <laughs> Uh, no, he doesn't take it. I thought he took golden. Maybe it was my wife that took golden, golden stuff, perhaps. I'm not really sure. I don't really, I don't really remember, <laughs> but that's all right. At least we can kind of see a little bit better now. The visibility has come back a little bit, so that's great. All right, we're going to plant these up just to give myself the life of pain, the life of watering, the life of a farmer. You can't play Harvest Moon without being a proper farmer and actually putting your back into it, putting your work in <laughs> for sure. Okay, so that's those and we need the carrots too. So let's plant up the carrots. That would be great. There we go. Lovely carrots everywhere. Let me get rid of these nasty holes too. I hate these holes so much. We're not going to get rid of all of them though. I don't actually think we're going to fill up this whole field, but that's okay. That's all right. I think this is enough to be honest. It's enough to work with. There we go. That's definitely enough for me to work with. I'm happy with that actually. So yep, we just need to wait now. I think just need to wait for things to grow. We've got some new trees growing down here too. Hopefully those will grow for next year. That would be great. Let's go check on our chickens. Make sure that they're okay. Make sure they're all happy. We go, we can get the eggs as well, which is fantastic. Poor little guys are always just cooped up in the chicken coop until the end of time. They just never get let out. <laughs> very sad stuff, very sad. But there's nothing I can do for you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just the way it has to be. When we play Another Wonderful Life, the girl version, I will like take them out. It's just because the grass constantly grows grows and you just can't see them which is why I just don't bother it's just like too much work it's way too much work so this is the milk processing room let's go and have a look inside you can actually go in here so basically you just push a cow in and the cow will automatically go into one of these stations it'll get milked and then the milk will come down here somewhere they said right somewhere down here here I think 
milk stored in the tank gets canned here yeah so they come down here so yeah we'll try that out it's just that it's raining right now so not the best time to to do that <laughs> but that's okay it's cool it's cool that we got another new area definitely so which cow actually is giving milk right now is it just you the star cow i think it's just the star cow at the moment so yeah coffee is fine and we got patch pregnant right now i don't think we're getting any more milk from this cow nope this cow is empty i don't even know if this cow is old enough are you still yeah the brown cow is still a baby that would be why i didn't make it pregnant but i really need it to make it pregnant because we need to get brown milk we've never had brown milk i don't think i think because we didn't get that cow that long ago that's that's probably why <laughs> that's probably why we still haven't done that just yet that's okay we're going to feed up all our animals here that'd be great make sure they're all happy and healthy they you go have some of that enjoy my friends enjoy enjoy all your goodies today there you are some lovely fodder for you and i'll go and do the rounds and make sure they all have some nice healthy food to munch on my cows are very happy <laughs> i make sure to take good care of my cows all right there you go there you go apart from sometimes i neglect washing them but they forgive me they forgive me they told me <laughs> they told me they they forgive me me, so it's all good <laughs> yay yay alrighty so yeah let's go to the dig site it'll also change the weather as well stop it from raining it's been raining all day long oh my god <laughs> I've never seen so much rain all at once it's crazy craziness but that's all right that's okay all right let's take this how many happy lamps have I got it's actually still thundering as well that's crazy all right let me see I want to see how many happy lamps I got 17 not a massive amount but it would do for now I guess <laughs> it's an okay amount I mean if I ever need anything important I can definitely use those so that's good we'll have to wait till next year to get some more happy lamps that's okay I wonder if Carter is working today let's hope that he is so yes he is awesome so we can get some goodies there we go and do some nice digging over here that'd be great so I guess we could talk about my gaming exploits I usually do this when we're like digging and stuff for fossils because it takes a while and you know it uh, is kind of repetitive sometimes um, I guess um, at the moment I've mostly been playing Final Fantasy 14 ever since the Endwalker, Endwalker expansion released been playing that for a, yeah a good couple of weeks since that since like after that release but probably by the time I released this video uh, that was pr it would probably have been months and months ago but <laughs> you know only released a couple of weeks ago at the time of recording this so, so uh yeah it's, it was it's really good i absolutely love endwalker absolutely fantastic dlc pack one of the best ones that they have bring out for final fantasy 14 and i absolutely love the game and recommend it to everybody actually because it's such a fantastic game it really is i'm so glad about the popularity boom that it that final fantasy 14 has has gotten i've been a fan of it for many years i've been playing it for over six years now and uh love it love it a lot <laughs> i don't think it needs the popularity but i'm still just going to harp on about it because it's such an amazing game and i want everyone to be able to experience it the only downside is the subscription fee sadly which is a real real shame but yeah it actually even took over world of warcraft which i was super shocked at i didn't think anything was going to take over the king of mmos <laughs> i think the reason for that i don't actually think final fantasy killed world of warcraft though i think it was more that world of warcraft has just been making some really bad decisions and people have just been going away from it slowly but surely hopefully they sort of like bring themselves back because i actually want to try world of warcraft but the state is at right now is just pointless it's just no point in playing it at all which is really sad because i actually want to play world of warcraft i love mmorpgs i absolutely love to play them but yeah sadly that game is just not happening and like the only mmorpg that i've really been like sticking to really is final fantasy 14 and i go back to elder scrolls online sometimes i'm very casual with elder scrolls online very casual though like i don't play as oft that often honestly i get bored with it so that's probably why I kind of want to try Guild Wars and I want to try 
maybe Star Wars. I heard that is like a really good MMORPG and you get choices and stuff like Dragon Age and stuff. And I heard that one was really good. So there's a few good MMOs out there for sure. Definitely. But I guess other than that, I've been playing some little indie titles. I've been playing this like bartender game. It's called like Valhalla Bartender. And it's really cool. It's like a cyberpunk kind of visual novel game where you just like tend to your customers you, it's really like really comfy and just all of those casual games I've just been playing it on game pass a little bit and I yeah you just serve drinks to people and it's just a nice time um, definitely so that one's a cool one I'm not really sure what else um, I'm not really sure I don't think I've really been playing too much else actually but yeah those are some some ones that I've I've really been enjoying playing actually and uh, I've been playing some Minecraft as well in the realm I got a Minecraft realm and I've been playing with uh, everybody who's in the realm and it's a fantastic fun really really fun I really enjoyed that we did the the bosses not too long ago probably a while ago now but um, at the time we were recording this it was just a couple of weeks ago that we did the wither and the end dragon for the first time that was super fun can't wait to do the warden when that releases that would be super fun to do okay I think we're nearly done here it's going to close soon. We actually managed to do a full sweep of the dig site, which is nice. I feel like we haven't done this in a little bit. So it's nice to change things up a little bit, right? It's nice to have a change of pace. I like that a lot. After this, we're going to... Oops, I didn't mean to click on you. No, I'm not finished. It's still raining out there. You can still hear the thunder <laughs> and everything. But after this, we're going to check to see if we can get some produce from our trees and stuff. That'd be great. But we'll have to... We'll have to see if it like decides to to give to grace us with this amazing produce. <laughs> Hopefully the grapes are done too. That would be so good. I haven't got anything for you, Carter. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just some random junk items that I just wanna just wanna take with me for the hay of it, for the heck of it. Why not? <laughs> I don't even need money anymore. Like in the dig site, I don't even know why I'm going in there. <laughs> I literally don't even need money so it's like absolutely pointless but whatever it's just like pass the time and mix things up basically. <laughs> I just wanted to go in there just for the for the sake of it basically so it's all good but now it's nice and sunny as well of course this always happens. Maybe you know maybe next time I'll do do some like territory capture or something because I feel like we haven't done any mini games for a while. Some of them are a bit of a pain to to get like you know to get going like to do them. Oh my god look at the bulbs do you see them they're actually flashing like bulbs oh my god that's so cool i'm gonna have to go check that out in a second i just want to let my things out look at that they're actually flashing like bulbs oh my god that's so cool i did not know they would do that it's like christmas trees like christmas lights that's so cool i really love that they've actually got like an effect on them like that is really cool will it do that in my hand as well sadly i'm gonna have to pick them oh they're not done they're not even done. Oh wow, they're still growing. Wow, that's crazy. I absolutely love that. That's my favorite crop so far. I honestly didn't even know that they did that. So that's honestly so, so cool. I'm hoping that I'll get some of these app ages. Are they going to drop yet? Come on. No, maybe tomorrow. I'll have to go to bed and try and get them to drop. <laughs> that's so annoying. I am really impressed by those bulbs. I absolutely love that so much. That, that is so cool. That is really, really cool. <laughs> I like that. Okay, um, Star Cow, I think I probably got some milk from you, don't I? Yes, there we go. Just my one milk for the day, sadly, but that's okay. Yeah, we're probably just gonna go straight to bed and uh, we're gonna go to the next day so we can get this, like, produce. You know, the app ages and stuff, I just really wanna, I really wanna get them, so we're gonna do that. I'm not gonna save right now, actually. I just want to, I wanna harvest. I wanna harvest these cool, like, plants and stuff. I'm kind of hoping hoping that I get to harvest the bulb as well like I'm hoping it like sort of grows like by tomorrow <laughs> maybe wishful thinking but I'd love to harvest them although probably the first thing I'm going to do is put the bulb straight back into the seed maker to be fair but I just kind of want to see it in my hand I just kind of want to know what it like looks like when you actually like get it what is that 
<laughs> There's like a weird thing swinging backwards and forwards. <laughs> what on earth is that? A rock is growing. It literally is a rock. Oh my god, it swings back and forth. That's so weird. Some of these crops are so bizarre. I love it. Sadly, they're not quite done, but that's okay. So can I get the, the actual the actual app ages now come on drop off all right there we go so we got our app ages now so that's cool here they are app age b very sour and tasty i see so red bananas i don't know if i would eat a red banana would you eat a red banana i'm not sure if i would <laughs> i feel like i'd be very scared to eat a red banana to be honest with you Okay, I am really loving these these hybrid crops that we got going here right now. It's just so interesting. So, so interesting. All right, we've got some grapes here as well. This is the first time we've had grapes, I believe. So, yeah, this is a good one. This is great. We've got some nice grapes here to, to pick up. So that's great. I think we're going to be able to get some, like, uh, dishes and stuff with these. We'll probably make some dishes with these next video. That would be great. But, yeah, I'm very happy with that. It looks like these are done as well. Whatever this is, is probably done. Yamatos, are they not done? Oh, they must be close. They must be very, very close. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really shocked at like that they've actually put animations into those hybrids. Like, I, I just think that looks so cool. I'm very impressed by that. I guess I could show you the, the milk processing room before we end the episode. I'll just go put a cow in. I know that these won't be milked anyway, but I'll just show you what happens. This is how it works. You basically just push a cow into the room like this and they go in and they get automatically automatically milked oh it won't let oh you need to do it when there's actually a cow that needs to be milked the only one i have is the star cow but sadly i don't think it can be milked right now well i'll definitely show you it at some point it's nothing too impressive anyway you just push the cow into the room and they go in and get milked you don't even see them getting milked they just go in and come back out again basically you might be able to follow them in i'm not too sure actually but we'll, we'll do that another time it's just a bit of a pain so i don't have very many cows that can be milked at the moment so it's a bit it's a bit of a pain to be honest but that's okay I'm gonna stop the episode here for now when we return I will probably continue at the end of fall going into winter just to speed this process along a little bit and we'll probably do some cooking maybe some hybridizing that would be awesome I hope you look forward to that thank you so much for watching I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my patreons and members for supporting the channel thank you so much I really appreciate it and if you are interested in donating there will be a link in the description box below to my patreon page alternatively you can also click the big join button underneath every video that i create to become a member of the channel lastly i just want to also mention that i do have a second channel where i exclusively live stream so if you're interested in seeing live streams do click on the link in the description or you can also find it on my channel homepage as well new game releases and stuff like that are live streamed on that channel as well so i hope you look forward to those. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.